We now have live feed from the field house. Look. Did you scan it? Yeah, it's all good. Okay, zoom in and trim in the shot. Okay. Which shot do you want? What type of shot? A wide shot. Okay. We both know I'm not Kevin. He is not. Uh, oh, that's a little off. Ooh, that's a little off. Black. No, I can see the table perfectly fine. Is it square now? Uh, is that now? Yeah, well, the one that we fixed. So it's number... It was, it was five. Five. Right, but four on the board, right? Precincts go to David, and then we'll be waiting for those last two precincts. That's the last two precincts. So, and David's from. I mean, it's fine. Not it's on camera. I don't care. And then you can do ones on either side of it if you want. No, I think one pencil would look better than three. The audio. Okay. Not what I need. Just that that the, sauce burns. It bubbles. And it, 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 it like um. Yeah, it's the bubble, and then it'll start to. That's some cable. I don't know where his pack is though. Um, we don't. I don't know. Andrew, do you know where it is? Yeah. So. No, I would rather pull the other one, so that we just replace one cable with a long one. Um, because this is the one Daisy chain. Right, but then Daisy should rewire it then. Because I want, I want, he needs to be over this way. If oh, he's yeah. over there, he's, you know what I mean? Like, rewire yeah. it. Mike, 14.
little bit of a yeah, little bit of an issue. Um, two of the precincts uh, polling machines have failed, which means that they're going to be hand counting ballots. Um, so six of the precincts will have. The same music that's supposed to be coming through there. Nope. It's coming over. The, oh, you mean to run Andrew's camera through there? If we don't get audio from there, that's, you know, if that's the only thing that goes wrong today, that's fine. I would like some. No guarantees, but yeah. Um, Old South. Old South. Yeah. I see clip up. Shoot people. I need the mat over by the door over there. I'm not going to trip over there. Yeah. Who's going to be back? Yeah. Did you want? We did. We did. So what is the job? internship all here all Come with me, Courtney. Oh, yeah. Today? Well, apparently some of the polling machines broke down. So oh, you're kidding me. Yeah, so it looks like they'll be hand counting ballots in two precincts. Really? Uh, what precincts are these? I think two and eight was the last that I had heard. So because of that. No oh, yeah, we do. We have the. Just when I'm supposed to say hi to the football side of my Andrew, that okay, is. Do you want to just Andrew is doing a documentary about uh, it. All the election coverage. You can sneak it through one of the buttons. That would be. Yeah, that would be. Hello. Did a line tonight, do you think? Yeah, I think yeah. I think because of the, the breakdown of yeah, the, break down uh, some, of the some of the equipment down there, yeah. I think it's probably gonna be a little loud. I don't know if the turn off thing I did. Uh, it was really light when I went. I mean there was Bill Paul and I heading over, okay? All right, thanks guys. I'll be up there in a couple minutes too. Yeah. Know where I'm planning on going to? Yeah. Yeah, you're Which DDR clips? one. Play, track it. Senator Lewis for being here with us tonight. Right, wait, I'm, I'm going to see if it's recording and marking. Other uh, representatives in Boston, Boston yeah, representatives in Kevin, I'm going to throw it back to you at the anchor desk. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Katie, and thank you, Senator Lewis, for being here with us tonight. Okay. So, put unfortunately, anyone? Yeah. Put. I have a cut out. Kevin, uh, see you at the anchor desk. Thank you, Katie, and thank yes. you, Senator Lewis, for being here with us tonight. I fall. I'm pleased to be joined with one of our other okay. uh, representatives uh, who ran in okay. this election. Um, we appreciate the, their uh, commitment to public service. Thank you. All right, Kevin, I'm going to throw yeah. it back to you at the anchor desk. Thank you, Katie, That's and perfect. thank you, Senator Lewis. Preview three. Preview three. Sorry. Okay. Now, Marcel, roll closer to the door. Talking. <laughs> You're going to be running camera on that far camera over there, which will be um, whoever Katie is interviewing. So probably not till 7.15, 7.30, depending on... 7.15? Um, uh, sorry, 8.15, 8.30. 8 8 okay. Um, so much like the old clearly building X in the box. So, yep. 
ballots in years on by. Is where's it going to go with it? It goes to his headset. Yeah, no, where's he going to be? He's going to be in this general area. Yeah, I kind of just run out of the lines. There's one dude voting. Got some good commentary there. Well, here we have, oh, we're setting gates up. Excellent. Those are awful hyper hurdles. For all the protesters. For all the protesters. There were a bunch of people after it. Yeah. While I was chatting. Hey, you know, I have no trouble parking. That's true. Parking, plenty of available parking. Yeah, I'm not an issue parking. That's, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, he has a he still has a price on his head. On Channel One, you can always watch Bowling for Food. <laughs> <laughs> you can do the Cuban thing that Tony Montana did. Good evening and welcome to RCTV's coverage of election 2015 here on April 7th, 2015, our local election here in Reading. We're very excited to be here tonight. My name is Kevin Vent, and I will be hosting your co our coverage of the election along with my co-host here. Katie Robertson. Katie Hi. Robertson. Nice to have you here tonight, Katie. And uh, we're very excited to be here and to bring the results of this election to you. As we talk about the election, a lot of people around town have been asking me, well, what are we asking? Politics. There has been an issue today. Uh, two of the precincts ballot counters are now out of commission. So precincts two and eight no longer have ballot counters, they now have to be counted by hand. So how that will work is each precinct, two and eight, will have three people involved in counting the ballots. Something that we haven't really had here in Reading in the past is, is that kind of excitement. I don't think we're going to have the hanging chads or anything like that. We don't <laughs> poke holes in our ballots. For those of you who voted today, you know you said 4 o'clock or about 4.30 actually, 172, I was 172nd ballot in my precinct. Now, my precinct isn't one of the two that's going to have the hand. Um, counting have to be done, but if it's a similar rate. Issues with schools and everything, so it would be uh, great to see a high voter count. Yeah, and as anyone who watched the forums here on RCTV mm -hmm. saw, you know, these candidates are passionate about what they, they want to do for our. It was a switch in the Board of Assessors. Correct. Uh, that the Board of Assessors has been an elected position up till tonight, till today. <laughs> including, including today. Including today. <laughs> um, and, uh, but since then, uh, the Board of Assessors, uh, they're going to be changing how they're doing that. So, I think the board is on the bottom. So, here. Uh, yep. Continue. We're free to it. The, right now? Yep. Probably the best thing that we had was when we would share copies of the document with various boards. They all have a chance to take a look at that. Welcome back to RCTV's 2015 local election coverage. That was a great spot about the charter, which is on the ballot today. Uh, we're looking at a live look at the field house where the polls... That the house voted on it and passed a version of the, of the charter as was sent to them by the town. That went to the state senate. The state senate passed a slightly different version where they made a couple of... of uh, with Kevin Vent as the host. And we also had a school committee forum with the three... Uh, Committee uh, candidates, uh, also with Kevin Vent here at RCTV. Oakland Road at Reading Memorial High School, and we see that several precincts have been posted, and we're waiting to see uh, what some of these results are going to be. Yes, uh, looks like we have a few more precincts that might have posted numbers by this point, so. <laughs> yeah, get, hopefully, getting get some results there pretty soon. Yeah. I love the big RCTV you know, uh, sweater that he's wearing there, that's outstanding. So, uh, that's a process that's <laughs> happening continually. Of course, you know, they, they come in and they, and they get to, to share what they have. And they, you know, they're very nervous when they start off, but they realize uh, as we go along, we're not here to hurt them. The attendants had to sit today while they were holding the sign. Right Why are you closing the mic? Or uh, running a lot. Did I say close the mic? No. Cut. Track. Clips. Um, no. Close course, the mics now. People here. Course. Don't people anticipate. Uh, the the I'm going to talk to right, right, right. thousands, right. literally, I of running residents to find out what's important to them. Uh, what's important to them in a. Yep. Ready DDR1, fitted DDR1. We're in break. Hello. 
They're still counting too, so he doesn't. Uh, it looks like I don't have precinct eight either. No, you will not have precinct two or eight. Okay. Um, preview the MVPs. Like that? Yep, cut to it. After the break is, we might have some numbers, but if not, um, workshops are available. Uh, we forgot to turn off auto. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We mentioned before about some of the two kids, all three people who were involved in that were facing each other, and so you're really having you know, three different lights kind of pointing from all different directions to make that happen, but it's still to not light that's going up behind. So when they were done, we had a panel that they were in, you know, who is the selection for them? A couple times they went over. Maybe once or twice. On TV, whether you, whether you noticed any of this kind of stuff. Or well, having a little bit of uh, theater background myself, okay. I did I did recognize the triangle causing, okay. you know. We want it to be balanced and we want it to be, you know, um, really representative for each candidate getting a chance to put their, put their word out. So so that was kind of fun to be able to do that. Um, we showed the selectmen. Still being able to, to fully understand how it's going to affect you personally and professionally. Yeah, and on, and on the school committee, the two people who are running uncontested for years is that a lot of the precincts don't get a full slate of people running their town meeting. I know the precinct two did. I believe it was a vote for eight, and we had seven. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I know I'm, I'm in precinct seven. We had. We did. We'll interested to see what comes up here. Precinct two. Remember, we said was being counted by hand. Yes. So it's not that nobody voted in precinct two. <laughs> that could take a while. <laughs> it could take a little while. They have to be voted by. Uh, precinct three. Five again. Barry Berman with a pretty. Uh, Commanding lead in Precinct 5, 141 votes to 78 votes for David Traniello. So that's, uh, okay, we have Precinct 6 with 109 for, for Barry Berman and 69 for David Traniello at this point in time. And we'll see what happens with those other numbers yeah. coming in. One of the things that I, I, you know, point out, we talked a little bit earlier about uh, voter turnout in these different precincts. And you can see, you know, we're talking... 200 to 300 from the field house. And it looks like we have a shot there of some of the people who are working on some of those um, uh, hand counted ballots. They're right. certainly but, working uh, hard. They've been out there all day. Yeah, they so have been. Those, those election workers really do put in a long day. And, mm -hmm. and uh, it's not as though they're getting rich by doing this you know, earlier, a little, giving us information about what that's all about. But uh, we're looking forward to seeing what happens there. Um, I think we're going to take a minute here and uh, kind of catch our breath again and take a small break, and we'll be back in just a moment here on RCTV. Ideas. We, we are happy to work with you or choose from the many gift ideas we carry. By two, yeah, it's being counted by hand. Um, so there's a reader, a counter, and an observer. Like that? Like eight that? Tonight. Okay, here's Kevin. I'll answer it. Okay. Whether or not we want to amend the Reading Home Rule Charter, in Precinct 1, we had 213 yes votes and 75 no votes. That's resounding. Yeah, that's, that's a very strong amount. Precinct two, counting by hand again, so <laughs> we'll get those numbers for you as soon as we can. Precinct three, we have 166 votes to 41 votes in favor of amending the Reading Home Rule Charter. And in Precinct four... To break now, a little bit of music uh, underneath. Here, a few messages, and we'll be back with, uh, with uh, RCTV's election coverage in just one moment. The music full, mics closed. Close. Go, wait, wait, wait. Okay, um, take off D take off DSK2, and then bring the bar down, and then cut to D, uh, uh, ME2. Uh, sorry, Kevin, I lost that last part. Can you give me, um, track a little music underneath? You are watching the election coverage on RCTV. We'll be back with just one more. DDR1. Stay. Close the mics. Music full. And fade to DDR1. Mayor Claire. Okay, well, we are back here with election coverage here on RCTV. And as we are continuing to wait for numbers coming in from the field house down at Reading Memorial High School, I'm pleased to have one of the candidates who is running 
for the board of selectmen, the one year seat to that. But it was it was a lot of fun. Yeah. What, it was, what was it like being out there with the, the sign holding? What kind of reaction were you getting? You know, it's, it's it's great because you know you see people coming who you know, and then you see folks who you don't know, and then there's a, during the middle of the day there was long periods of time when nobody came, and sure. so you wonder, oh my God, we had this. Sure. It is what it is. Yeah. So. You can always tell when someone has been uh, out on the uh, election trail. You say you have the, the wind burn and all that. Oh my like yeah, that. it's yeah. <laughs> I haven't even seen them. I'm looking at my house. Like, I, I wouldn't have come on if I didn't look like this. But. So I know uh, if you have as much of a chance to kind of interact with voters when you're standing there, how many people walking in or most of them driving? Most of them. <laughs> you always got to play that game in, in your head. But I mean, you know, toward the end of the day, more voters came out, which was, which was, uh, which was helpful. Do you recognize some of your friends and supporters? I did. I did. It's, it's actually, it's funny, this whole campaign, it's like I didn't, I didn't realize that I had so many friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you won the lottery. So yeah. the too. I, so I just want to thank him for his participation in this. Um, I think it, I think we made each other better. And so um, than just you know having a race where where no one is running against. Yeah, and I know when we did the forum, I mean. Part of this process for you, actually getting to know both of them. To okay. be honest with you, after our debate here at RCTV, we actually uh, actually went out, and uh, we should have been liked for that <laughs> uh, because it was actually quite enjoyable. So I I got to know them both and a small margin. Sure. So, Yes. Is there somebody you'd like to, are there people that you'd like to thank? Oh, I'd like to thank the people who came out and who supported me and voted for me, and I greatly appreciate that. Great. All right, Kevin, I'm going to send it back to you. Thank you very much, Nancy. It was great. Just, uh, and then, Table with uh, yes, with um, okay. with which one? Katie. 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 Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thanks. Good. Hi. Hi. <laughs> we'll probably go to Kevin full first. Okay, so preview two. Changing. It's interesting to hear. <laughs> um, it, it was great. It was the people, you know, coming. And I know the turnout was low, but people driving by, beeping, stopping by, shaking sure. their hand. Um, it was fun to be part of the process. It yeah, the last two precincts, but I don't know if there's anyone maybe you want to thank. It was very close, and I, I just maybe for maybe an hour away. Oh, know? an hour away, okay. But, but you know, that's that's not a good thing. You've heard it here first, everyone. Yeah. <laughs>
All right, thanks, Katie. Yeah, we are still uh, waiting for some of those final numbers, and it's going to be a little while before we're programs for kids and teens. These programs are ideal for the budding actors and actresses of the world, as well as the amateur directors, sound engineers, and more. Students receive training on the most up to date studio equipment around, from high definition cameras, chromatic. The services that are needed will be what people demand and are willing to pay for. Um, we really need to think about how to make the pie bigger, and that comes down to finding other revenue opportunities. There are other unexplored opportunities. Well, and then it's a big challenge, and, and it'll be interesting to see how the Board of Selectmen tackles that. I know you mentioned when we had our conversation a week or two ago about some opportunities that are coming up, and you didn't want to talk about them, and so I'm not going to press you on them now. But so the New York State Senator. Emphasis on should be the, as part of the legislative delegation, which includes Representative Jones and Dwyer, mm -hmm. and our job is to advocate on behalf of the state. Here we have some numbers for the school committee. Plus. Yeah, the school committee is a is a closely. Hey Robinson, we are going to sign off now. Say? Thank you for watching RCTV's election coverage, and uh, we'll see you next year. Have a great night. Let's close the mics. Stand by for Fate Four. Who took up? Pretty graphics. Pretty graphics. Go graphics. Not as much as Andrew did. He did a pretty good job. Is this a mixed That's the best part. That's the best part. Yeah. yeah. People on and on. It is, yeah. I mean, the sweet tape was so excellent. What a illusion. I was going to <laughs> yeah. I was telling John to read that. Here, Mark, for the, ready for the magic of television? I'm going to kick it to her, and there's not going to be anybody there. You're in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> and there's no, you weren't in the bathroom. Yeah, she, he wasn't in the bathroom. So. And, then, and then you had the, uh, the transition between the two tape segments where I'm like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I woke everybody up. <laughs>